everyone this is mammal joy and welcome to my channel i'm getting ready to do uh two videos and uh the first one will be getting food prepared for our thanksgiving meal which is not on thanksgiving but the week before which is deer season and the second video is the day of the dinner that we're having and I'm going to be showing you what foods we're making and what's going on. So I wanted to let you know what these videos were about. And I will be getting them on soon. Hello everyone, this is Mammal Joy and welcome to my channel. I am going to make some... dressing today. I've been um, toasting bread in the oven. Uh, I need another one. For my dressing. Instead of buying croutons, I like to just toast my bread. So I've got a, a pan of bread here that's all toasty. And what I'll have to do is cut this up. I may just break it in pieces. It looks like it's gonna break up real good in little pieces. So I may just break it like this and break it up and uh, the other thing that I'm going to put in will be a sleeve of saltine crackers and I usually just take these and kind of just smash them up mash them up really good and I'll, I'll finish doing that but that's what I'm going to do with those and then I'm going to chop up some onion and celery about a cup of each and I'll put it in a skillet with butter and saute that and have that ready to all go in the pan and what I'm going to do is make this up today and we're not baking it till tomorrow and I'll put it in a mixing bowl and uh, then I'm going to be heating some chicken broth till it's almost boiling and pouring it over all of this and this will have sage and salt and pepper and that's all the seasonings that I'm going to put in it and uh, I will come back and show you what it's like when I get things done. I'll go ahead and get the bread broke up and put in the pan and the crackers and get the eggs ready and I'll saute the vegetables, the onion and the celery. So that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm in Illinois. You never know where I'm going to be and um, I'm going to we're having a dinner here tomorrow night at Michael's and Mindy's. And this is our, when I lived in Illinois, that's what we did. We, the week of hunting season, deer season, we always had our Thanksgiving then so it wouldn't interfere with anybody else's on Thanksgiving. So I had my Thanksgiving the weekend of deer season because the men were all here hunting, which is, Michael and Noah have, and Eric have went out hunting this afternoon. So, uh, I'm going to be working on the dressing. And, oh, I wanted to tell you, I got my other eye surgery done on my left. On my right eye. I said my left eye. I got my left eye done about, it's been about four weeks. And then, um... Oh, it's been about two weeks for it. Anyway, I just got this one done on Monday. 
and everything went good. I see really good without my glasses, but I have to wear these readers, which I'm not real happy about, but maybe I won't always have to, have to wear them, but I, I can't see, I don't need them to see with without, you know, unless I'm reading something. So God blessed me again when I had my surgery and was with me and <clears throat> helped me get through it. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to be over here and I'm gonna show you what's going on over here. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting the crackers in the bowl. <clears throat> Crunching them all up. So there's the crackers. Here's the toast that I'm breaking up. I've got one piece done. And then when I get all the rest of this done and put in here, we'll show you what's... Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna fix me some water. I'm gonna sit down here. And <laughs> this little bottle got bent up, didn't it? Whoa. I'm gonna sit here and do the toast while I'm sitting down talking to you. This is where I'm from. I was born and raised over here in Illinois. And uh, this is my house, it was my house. I always had big dinners for Thanksgiving and, and uh, a lot going on. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, I just, I, I wanted to tell you again how thankful I am for uh, God blessing me when I had both of my surgeries on my eye. And hopefully I don't have to have any more surgeries for a while. I've had about enough with my hip and my shoulder and my eyes. So, but I am truly thankful. And uh, anyway, it's about 31 degrees here today. It's really, really cold. I don't, I heard they got a lot of snow. I think it was Buffalo, New York. A lot of snow. Hope we don't get any of that, but <clears throat> <clears throat> we're gonna have, like I said, our Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow night here, and uh, Mindy's gonna cook a turkey and a ham, and uh, we're gonna be having cheesy mashed potatoes. That's mashed potatoes with cream cheese and sour cream and shredded cheese added to it. Oh, it's so gonna be so yummy. And uh, we're gonna have that honey corn in the skillet, skillet honey corn cut off the cob and, and uh, with butter and cream cheese and honey. And it's gonna be really, really good. And we're gonna have green beans, not green bean casserole, just good old plain green beans with bacon in them. And um, we'll have some deviled eggs and, and some chicken and noodles. And I'm sure I've left out something, homemade rolls. We always have homemade rolls. And <clears throat> I'm 
Mindy's gonna make some pecan pies and pumpkin pies. That, that should be enough, shouldn't it? Oh, I did make Eric some cranberry salad. Now this is not the normal way that I make cranberry salad usually, but I found out that after all these years, Eric didn't like the cranberry salad the way I made it. He it had too much stuff, stuff in it for him. He didn't like the oranges and the, the pineapple and stuff in it. So I made him, he said he liked it out of a can. And I said, you like cranberry sauce out of a can from the grocery store? Yep, that's just what I like. So I was talking to my niece, Holly, and she told me the same thing. She didn't like that either. Her mother made the same kind I did, and my mother, and they didn't like that either. So, I made him something different. I cooked the cranberries. I put a cup of water and a cup of sugar in a saucepan and I put in a bag of cranberries. And when the water came to a boil and the sugar was uh, all dissolved, I put the cranberries in the boiling water, let it come back to a boil and start to boil and then I turned it down on simmer and let it cook for 10 minutes. Then I added, you don't have to add anything else after that. That's all you have to do. But you can add spices like cinnamon. You could add raisins. You could add pineapple. You could do add all the things that I did in the other one, but you don't, that he doesn't like it that way. They don't, him and Holly, they want theirs plain. But I did add a little bit of raspberry jello to it to give it just a tiny bit of flavor. <clears throat> and uh, I had toasted some, some pecans because I made a pecan pie over here yesterday and they made it all up. <laughs> we all ate on it. But um, I said, Eric, would you like some of those pecans in there? I've toasted them in the oven. He said, yeah, he takes some pecans in it. So I've got that all made up and stirred up and it's, and I put it in the refrigerator and it'll be ready when we have our dinner tomorrow night. So I did make that special for him. He kind of wanted some oyster dressing, but nobody else likes it but him, I guess. I, I like it all right. But what well, I think I'll just go ahead and make the regular dressing and we may use the oysters and have some oyster soup. Never know what we're gonna have around here. I may not put the eggs in this in this dressing until uh, in the till tomorrow, right before I get ready to bake it and just, I'm gonna leave it in this mixing bowl and then I'll pour it into a baking dish. But I'll, I think I'm gonna wait and put the eggs in it tomorrow. I'll have everything else ready. And then all we have to do is put it in the baking dish and bake it. And it'll be ready too. So that's what I'm doing. I'm waiting for my one of my other uh, great granddaughters to come. She's coming home from college. She goes to college in New York and she's coming home and she'll be over here and I haven't seen her for a while. I'm anxious to see her, my Lexi girl. And, uh, I was glad to get to see Noah. I haven't seen Peyton yet, but I hope to see her tonight. And uh, Peyton's got a new puppy. I'm gonna show you the new puppy. 
she's about, I believe, three months old, something like that. And her name is Rosie, and she's a golden retriever. And she has the softest fur of any dog I've ever felt in my life. Just her fur is just soft as can be. And she's a sweetie. And when she wants to go outside, Michael and Mindy's got some bells hanging on their front door, on the on the doorknob, on a, a thing that hangs down. She goes over there and gets a hold of that and shakes it. And that means she wants to go outside. So we let her out. She is a very smart dog, very smart dog. So that's Noah's new pet. And Gabby got back from her honeymoon and she flew into Kansas City to pick up Grayson. And Michelle took her to the airport and Michelle and Annabelle headed on back to Salina. But we did celebrate <coughs> Eric and Annabelle's birthday. Belle's birthday and it was she was born on Eric's birthday, the 14th. That was the day of my surgery. But uh, we got to all be over there together and and uh, enjoy a, a meal out or two. And so they went back home. Anyway, I know you're tired of hearing me talk. I'm just rambling, but I'm sitting here getting this bread broke up. And uh, I'm going to get this done and then you'll we'll have to see what else I'm gonna do okay I've started on my celery but the bread all chopped up and uh, this is probably about a cup I've got one more uh, stalk that I could chop up in here Got chicken on cooking, some chicken thighs. Got them on a cooking, and I'm gonna cook, cut this um, celery in um, <clears throat> some strips like that, and then just that's this is how I did the rest, and then just chopped it up in smaller pieces. We'll chop up the onion and it this will go in a skillet with butter and saute till it's transparent. These were some smaller onions and um, so I've got two of them here. I think that'll probably be enough. If not, I'll do another one. Do you want to go outside, puppy? Rosie, you want to go outside? Hmm? You want to go outside, baby? Okay. There you go. Good girl. She didn't ring the bell. She was at the door, so she just whined it, whined a little bit. She wanted to go out. Such a good puppy. Such a good puppy. I'm gonna run this to the trash can. Okay, I've got me a remote now for my new selfie stand and it turns my camera on and off with this little remote. The other one may have done that, but if it did, I sure didn't know it.
like I said, I don't know if this will be enough onion or not. But I've got one more over here that's like that. And this is how I chop my onion up. in the bowl with the celery and then when I get it all chopped up I'll be putting it in the skillet in the butter. Okay. And that's how I'm going to do this one. And I, I am going to do this other onion because I don't think this one will be enough, but I think between both of them, that will be enough onion for us. Okay. Okay, I've got the corn cut off and in the fridge ready for tomorrow. I've got everything ready for the dressing. I've got the breadcrumbs broke up. I have the uh, onion and the celery sauteed and they're in the fridge. I've got the chicken cooked. I'm letting it cool. I'm getting ready to debone it. And all it has to do is go in the broth and put add the noodles to it. And it looks like we're moving right along. So we're going to have a good dinner tomorrow night and I'll try to show you a picture of everything we've made so you can see what we're doing. Okay, I cooked six thighs, chicken thighs, and I've saved the broth, and I've cut, I'm cutting, I've cooled the chicken down, I got it cooked, and I'm cutting it up and putting it, I'm cutting it up and putting it in the chicken broth, which is right here. This broth is good and rich and yummy, and I'm cutting, cutting up the six thighs in smaller pieces and putting them into the broth. Then in the, the, tomorrow when we get ready to cook them, the noodles, I'll just bring this to a boil in a, in a pan and put the noodles in and cook them and they'll be done. So I've got everything ready for that. So I'm just cutting up the chicken, just in some smaller pieces. Just like this. And that way I can store it all in one bowl in the fridge till we're ready to get the noodles in. And there's the chicken and the noodles, or the chicken and the broth. And I have a lid on it, and it goes right in the fridge. So, it's ready for tomorrow to cook with the noodles. So, you've got it.